I, I was actually pretty surprised. 17% of the people said they were interested in buying a drone. Very few people own one today. It was like 3%. But 17% right. saying they want to own one was high. We, we did, How does that compare? Well, we looked at like what we, we asked about smartwatches for this show a year ago. And 15% of people said they were interested in smartwatches. So if you had said to me they were roughly going to be the same, that, would have been, that, that was surprising to me. Um, I, I think um, people don't know enough about drones, but there's, there's a lot of interest out there. So if all those people say they want one, how would they use a drone? So I think it's, it's, that's still what they're not sure about. I mean, we've got a couple of examples, photography, um, I, I think recreation. I mean, I, I look at it as like, you know, when I was a kid, I built model rockets. You know, a drone is way cooler than a model rocket. So just sort of the cool thing of like so having this. You were blowing stuff up when you were a kid. You were one of pretty those much, kids. pretty much. But you I, I think like if I could have had a drone, that would have been way better. And first of all, it's like way cooler. And second of all, it's easier to use. So I think some of it's just entertainment. Some people aren't really sure what the use cases are, but they can see that hey, there's going to be there's going to be more of this, um, and they're, they're, they are for personal use. Um, and you start to hear more stories about them. Um, and, and you know, we, and among the stories we hear, I think I've, I feel like the the use cases aren't really clear yeah. to people yet. Yeah. That, they're, that they're hearing things, like they see the sixty minute story and and say, oh wow, Amazon's going to have drones. Do we want commercial? Do people want deliveries by drone? I, that came back as pretty low, and I think that's really about the fact that the consumer doesn't see what's the benefit for me of getting Amazon delivered by drone. I can see that you know most of the benefit is for Amazon, right? Saving right. shipping, you know. But I think if Amazon launched, but if you have a Labrador Retriever, the the benefit's not for you of having a, a drone land in your front stoop. Exactly. But but if if Amazon said to me, we're going to cut, you know, we're going to cut the cost of everything in half because we're using drones, or we're going to be able to do delivery in three hours, then I think people say, oh wow, drone delivery. So I think we, there's no consumer benefit yet because it's still too early. People haven't launched those services yet. Uh, I have shades in my bedroom, but the issue of privacy in drones starts to come up. Yeah, I think privacy is a, privacy is a big issue. Privacy and safety, like those come up and, and you sort of see that in the, in the sort of desire for regulation. Again, it's, it's still really early in this, but yeah, I mean, people are like, wow, I'm going to be in my backyard with my kids and somebody's going to be flying over with a drone taking pictures of me. Now, that stuff already was happening with planes, right. so it's not, it's just a lot easier with a drone. Do you, is, uh, you, you know, you're the, the business of Survey Monkey, which is fascinating to me, um, is, is fundamentally based on the notion that these are statistically significant yeah. studies. Uh, and the, the survey size, of course, is one of the most important parts of that. But I wonder if what you can do, with, this is a technology issue. You can't imagine, it's a Steve Jobs thing, right? You don't know what you want to do with the device until you have it. And that, that uh, trying to predict before it's out there means it doesn't really matter. Do these survey results really matter now, or are we gonna, is it going to wait until we have use cases that people have experienced? I, I, yeah, I think, it, uh, well, I think what the survey general answer is, People are interested in drones. They're a little nervous about them. It's still really early in the life cycle. This is what we've seen with wearables and smart, smart watches. And it might be this year something comes through. It might be a few years from now. It, it, the use cases have to be there. And I think your, your point on that is absolutely right. They're just undefined enough. But they're getting cheap enough. They're getting powerful enough. People are going to start seeing more of them. Um, I think the FAA rules. Um, were pretty overly restrictive. Um, I think that's going to be changing. They're, they're, but they're going to be hard to enforce. Yes, no, do you have one? I don't have one. Yet.